Hi guys, let's look at some more questions from exercise 5c. This is basically the exercise where we are looking at factorizing difference of two squares. So let's look at the next question. That's question number 21. So this is x to the power 4 plus x square plus 1. Now there is nothing which is getting subtracted here, right? So if I'm looking at a square minus b square, I have to have something which is being subtracted. Let's see. And I this can obviously be written as x square whole square and 1 can be written as 1. Uh, if I were to have plus x square, uh, I need something that I need to subtract. So let's add an x square and subtract an x square. Yeah, I can add and subtract the same number without changing the expression. So what I've done is I've added an x square and I have subtracted an x square. If I bring, if I group it the way I've underlined, what I have is x square whole square plus 1 whole square plus 2 times 1 into x square and this is x square. Uh, this is nothing but x square plus 1 the whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab. So the first three terms is nothing but x square plus 1 the whole square and this is minus x square. Now this is of the form a square minus b square. So the answer will be a plus b multiplied with a minus b. Yes. So let's see if this can be factorized any further. So this is x square plus x plus 1 multiplied with x square minus x plus 1. If I were to factorize this as a quadratic expression, I need to find factors of 1, the sum of which will be 1. That's not possible. Uh, and similarly, the factors of 1, the sum of which will be negative 1. That's also not possible. So this is my final answer. So you can put a small star on this question because this question had us add a number on our own and subtract a number on our own to make it factorizable. Let's look at question number 22. This is obviously first term whole square and this can be written as 2ab Whole square. So this is a square plus b square minus 4c square the whole square and the second term can be written as 2ab the whole square. So now this is x square minus y square. So this can be written as a square plus b square minus 4c square plus 2ab multiplied with a square plus b square minus 4c square minus 2ab. Uh, if I look at these three terms, the way I have underlined, these three terms are nothing but a plus b the whole square. Similarly, these three terms in the second bracket is nothing but a minus b the whole square. So let's write them as what we just discussed. So this is a plus b the whole square and this term negative 4c square can be written as negative of 2c the whole square. Similarly, a minus b the whole square and this is 2c the whole square. Now this is x square minus y square. Similarly, x square minus y square. So this would become a plus b plus 2c and a plus b minus 2c. So this is what we've broken this into. And now let's look at the second bracket. This is a minus b plus 2c multiplied with a minus b minus 2c. Again, you can put a small star on this question. This question had us factorize two times, each bracket separately. Again, like I've said earlier, your final answer should be of the form that I'm just writing, which is you will write the question and then you will highlight your answer is equal to a plus b plus 2c multiplied with a plus b minus 2c multiplied with a minus b plus 2c multiplied with a minus b minus 2c. That's the way you should represent your final answer. Done. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we're doing is question number 24. Let's look at the question. It says a plus b the whole square minus a square plus b square. So let's see if I can do something from here. Uh, don't think anything can be taken common. So let's open the bracket. So a square plus b square plus 2ab 
minus a square plus b square. Negative a square and plus a square gets cancelled. So we have 2b square plus 2ab. I notice 2b is common. So 2b taken common, I have b plus a. So that's the final answer. Or oh, in fact, this question did not involve uh, the difference of square of two tops. But anyway, the answer will be 2 times, sorry, 2b times b plus a. That's the final answer. Next one, that's question number 26. So question number 26 says 9a square. So this is obviously 3a, the whole square. And this is a square minus 4, the whole square. So this is x square. This is y square. So this is x plus y multiplied with x minus y. Yes, 3a plus a square minus 4 and 3a minus a square minus 4. Done. Let's see if we can factorize this quadratic expression. So a square plus 3a minus 4 and negative a square plus 4. In fact, let's write this middle term first. So negative a square plus 3a plus 4. Yes, that's correct. Negative a square plus 3a plus 4. So I need to find factors of negative 4, the sum of which should be 3. Yes, that will be negative 1 into 4. So now I can break 3a as a square minus a plus 4a minus 4. All I have done is broken 3a as negative a plus 4a. Similarly, I need to find factors of negative 4, negative 1 into 4, negative 4, the sum of which should be plus 3. Well, the opposite, exactly the opposite of the previous one, which is minus 1 and plus 3. Again, not uh, same thing, right? Minus 1 and plus 4, okay? So, minus a square plus 4a minus a plus 4. Not the opposite, exactly the same thing. This is negative a plus 4a. This is also negative a plus 4a. Let's group it the way I've underlined now and see what do we get. So, a times a minus 1 plus 4 times a minus 1. That's our first big bracket. In the second one, let's take negative a common. What I get is a minus 4. Again, let's take negative 1 common. What I get is a minus 4. In the first bracket, a minus 1 is common. In the second bracket, a minus 4 is common. So, this becomes a minus 1 times a plus 4 and a minus 4 times negative a minus 1. So that's our final answer. If you want, you could remove negative 1 from here and write it as uh, and change the sign of any other bracket. Otherwise, this is a completely acceptable answer. Uh, you would again have to write it, the represent it in the question form, which means 9a square minus a square minus 4 the whole square is equal to a minus 1 a plus 4, a minus 4, negative a minus 1. Right. That's the final answer. Again, you can put a small star on this question. Interesting one because we had to factorize it. First, factorize the square and then factorize the quadratic expression. That brings me to the next couple of questions. In fact, these are, would be the last two questions from this exercise that I would work with you. Let's look at the next one. So this is basically x plus 1 upon x the whole square, right? Or x minus 1 upon x the whole square. We know x minus 1 upon x the whole square is equal to x square plus 1 upon x square minus 2. Uh, okay, so if I take negative 2 from here and I break this up into negative 2 and negative 9, maybe I will be able to figure out my life better. So this is what's going on in my mind. I haven't done this and I haven't written this in my answer sheet yet. That's what I'm thinking. So now I would break this up as x square plus 1 upon x square minus 2 and minus 9. These three terms will give me x minus 1 upon x the whole square and this is nothing but 3 square. Now I have it of the form a square minus b square which means x minus 1 upon x plus 3 multiplied with 
x minus 1 upon x minus 3. That's the final answer. I can't factorize it any further. Again, you would represent it with the question. You can again put a small star. Objective is uh, we broke up negative 11 into negative 2 and negative 9. That brings me to the last question that I do with you. I have already written a couple of homework questions here. You should solve them on your own. I notice b plus c is common in both the first term and the second term. So let's take b plus c common. What remains from the first term is a square. What remains from the second term is b plus c the whole square. There's b plus c whole cube. So I have taken one b plus c out, which means b plus c square remains. Now this is of the form x square minus y square. So let's write this b plus c is common. So x in this case a plus b plus c multiplied with a minus b plus c. Let's open this bracket, the small bracket inside. So this is a plus b plus c and this is a minus b minus c. That's the final answer. I can't factorize it any further. That's about it. Thank you so much. Take care. Be safe. If you have any queries, feel free to write into me. Bye-bye.